Former South Korean Prime Minister and presidential hopeful Lee na Gyun has been elected to lead the country's ruling Democratic Party for the next two years. But because of the growing outbreak in Korea, he had to deliver his acceptance speech on Saturday online in the party's first national convention to be held virtually. It was the latest in a series of events for lawmakers that have had to go virtual. Lee kyung un tells us more. Because of the pandemic, school, work, and even politics in South Korea have had to move online. The ruling Democratic Party on Saturday live-streamed its new chairmanship election on YouTube, where in a three-way race, former Prime Minister Lee na won over 60 percent of the vote. It was the first time a South Korean political party has held a virtual national convention. They're usually in a big stadium with tens of thousands of people, but this time only about 10 people were there at the party's headquarters. The incoming chairman was not at the headquarters, however. He's in self-quarantine, having recently been at the same radio station where someone was caught the virus. So instead, Lee na gave his speech from home, pledging his utmost efforts in the war against COVID-19. For the Democratic Party to fight this war more effectively and systemically, the existing National Crisis Committee will be expanded and renewed, and I'll be leading that committee. The outgoing party leader Lee Hye-chan, also in self-quarantine, spoke as well. He's in isolation at home, as are several other party lawmakers, after learning that a photojournalist who covered a party meeting tested positive. That case forced the National Assembly to shut down and prompted him on Friday, his last day as leader, to give a press briefing online for the first time. A party's pull rate can always go up and down depending on how it responds to national issues. Parliament reopened on Sunday, but to avoid another shutdown in the future, lawmakers are considering making the entire National Assembly a virtual house where all procedures are done remotely, including voting. Lee Kyung-un, Arirang News.